I've been thinking somewhat a little bit about not thinking a lot about I've been thinking a bit about the, my kind of evolution as a human and what I want to a human or as a human being and what I sort of want to personify represent be about sometime in the future right there is something that I kind of want to change about myself and I think one of the main things I want to change in myself and one of the main things that kind of sometimes keeps me up at night is my lack of, I would say, congruency with how I present myself in public or how I present myself in public and now how I am in private, right? I get up to some some dark shit. I get to some bad stuff behind closed doors, right? Stuff that I'm not willing to say out loud and obviously stuff that if it came out, I'd be embarrassed about. So I want to get to a point where I can align the way that I present myself and the things that I get up to behind closed doors so they're one and the same. So that however I am behind closed doors, exactly how I am in front of the world, so that if anything did come up about me, I would never be embarrassed and I would never feel like, you know, I put myself out, look, I kind of, you know, embarrassed my family or whatever. You know, kind of thing. I wouldn't want to do that sort of thing. So I'm trying to get to that point and I'm trying to get to a point where I um, can be described as an honourable person, as a trustworthy person as a stand-up guy, right? That's kind of what I want to be kind of known for. I think, especially after noticing the kind of shift in the party scene and also noticing my sort of shift in how I want to kind of be viewed in that world and not necessarily caring that much about it, that much, no, not really caring about that side of things anymore. Obviously, I care about the playing, like I said, my kind of dream going forward would be to, you know, have at least, how would you say, um, what's the equivalent? let's say like 60, is it 60 gigs? How many months is in a year? There's 12 months in a year. Um, let's calculate this quickly. Let's calculate some, give you a little, little, duh, 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 duh. how many weekends in a year? 52. So let's say my dream scenario would be to play somewhere, to be like a DJ that plays 30 to 40 weekends in a year, which obviously gives you a nice time to kind of you know be about your family hang out with your friends and stuff so it's not all, all encompassing um obviously have my own studio designing creating consulting making magazines doing photo shoots making you know small selections of merch or little capsule collections consulting on this consulting on that strategic planning communication all that good stuff that i've done maybe a little contemporary art studio in the corner to kind of pick up the stuff that i obviously studied in school and whatnot a little design practice but start something that would basically give me a rich and fulfilling life right I have to kind of explore all of my interests and obviously that will include DJing, right? So let's say to 30 to 40 weekends per year, I'd be out playing some, some places. But that would be playing in some of the best clubs in the world, being surrounded by people who actually love the music and are about that this life for real, and not just being surrounded by people who just want to get out and cane it. Because I was that person one time too, but I'm kind of over it. I'm not really, you know what I mean? I, I kind of go out specifically to kind of listen to tunes, listen to music, hear DJs play, you know get the ambiance of people especially after being in a pandemic i just love being around strangers these days that's just cool i just like being in the midst of things standing right in the front being around strangers just kind of bopping from side to side closing your eyes it feels amazing it's better than any drug i honestly i honestly do believe it and i've ingested a lot of stuff so i would know but i want to get to a point where i'm just regarded as a good dude i think that's what i kind of want to get to that's what because there was a point in my life where i really wanted to be cool I wanted to be referred to as like a cool guy. So I got into cool things. I tried to talk about cool stuff. I tried to surround myself with cool people. And it was a very empty life, I'm not going to lie. Um, the people in that sort of scene, you know, they, it, it doesn't really go far for me. Again, it's nothing, it's not like a slight on them at all. I think people who kind of are still about in that world are people that I still know and they still hang around in that sort of quote unquote scene and they still kind of give themselves up to the life of going to private views and getting free drinks and trying to scam goodie bags and just trying to be like a friend of a friend of everyone so you can get links to this. And for sure, it does work for a certain type of person. But for me, I just couldn't do it. And like I said before in other podcasts, I've come, I came into this sort of like, whatever you'd call it, this kind of modern day renaissance man lifestyle, whatever this thing is, right? Where you're interested in like music, nightlife, you know, um, hospitality, uh, holidaying, vacationing, you know, whatever, sports, da, 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 this whole world. I came into it kind of idolizing the pioneers, right? Idolizing the people that founded places like Paradise Garage and Studio 54 and Burke kind of places like that, right? I kind of wanted to emulate that in my own sort of way instead of just being the person that just wanted to be the club kid. Yeah, I, I always wanted to be a little bit more than that. Now, it's not to slight on that. It's not to kind of say denigrate people who want to be club kids, but that was never my game. 
So once you get into it and you discover everyone just wants to be cool and no one wants to do the work, you start realizing, okay, cool. Let me just step aside a bit or step back a bit to focus on the work and I'll get to where I need to get to. Now, that journey is far longer to get where you want to get to. If you want to just do the work, it just take it does take a longer time, I have to admit. Sucking up and licking people's ass does actually work if you're good at it. But I think it's more worthwhile. And again, the, the next step from that is to just be a genuinely cool guy a generally a generally good dude to everyone not just the people in the scene people like you know in everyday life so that if i do end up passing sometime you know people are will actually miss me people will actually think oh no that guy was actually a decent person he contributed something to society you know he did this and this for me he gave me this inside that inside, whatever it may be i just want to be that i just want to leave a good sort of um i want to leave some sort of good reverberations with people so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to tackle it. I'm probably going to have to read a lot of Nietzsche and do a lot of introspection. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of kind of self inventory to figure out the bits about me that I don't like and try and make an active change to rectify those parts of me that I don't like and try and be a better person going forward. And again, all these things are super boring. Um, they're super, you know, an event they're stupid like they, they don't really mean anything to anybody apart from myself no one sees all this hard work i'm gonna do on my own to kind of get right and become a better person no one essentially will care apart from me but i do think i would be a better family member a better friend a better whatever um if i'm able to do that sort of thing going forward definitely because i don't think the other lifestyle is for me anymore it really isn't it never was but i think especially since we've come out of the pandemic and i've been able to come back outside pop my head out be in different spaces i realized you know what i never really enjoyed this thing um i always enjoyed it for being the practitioner i always wanted to be the person behind the decks the person organizing the event all these kind of things i never want to just be the person just in the crowd just like you know bobbing and trying to get into the green rooms and you know get behind dj booths i don't really care like that i want to be I want to either like be a consumer and have fun or I want to be a person kind of the person actually putting the thing on and just being in the background. But I don't want to be this weird in between where you're sort of like wanting to stand next to people to people think you're doing something when you're not. I always thought that sort of stuff was kind of lame personally anyway i just thought it was all kind of lame so that's the place i kind of want to be at the moment again it's going to be difficult it's going to be tough i'm sure it's not going to be an easy smooth ride but i'm going to try my best to make that happen because what's what else can i do you know what i mean what, what what else is there to do in life apart from that i think i mentioned before in another podcast that i slowly but surely came to the realization that for the most part life is you know the majority of life is suffering if it, if that is true you're going to have to kind of work really hard to create some little specks of sunlight and glitter and happiness in your life that you're going to look back on and think, oh, that was well worth it. Do you know what I mean? And um, it's difficult to do, but it's worthwhile in the long run. I hope so. Anyway, that's my kind of aim going forward. That's my aim going forward.